Stars shining bright above you Night breezes seem to whisper I love you Birds singing in the sycamore tree Dream a little dream of me Welcome kindreds, this is Jessica the Story Witch and today I wanted to talk a little bit about coming out as a witch coming out of the broom closet, if you will. Uh, it's something that I've been thinking about a lot at the moment because I'm starting to post videos and that has opened a whole new kind of level of vulnerability that, well, I was expecting it because I've thought about doing this for quite a while and it's only just now that I am doing it. And that is because of that kind of that fear, I guess, you know, that fear of putting yourself out there because then things could happen that will, will upset me. And generally I'm pretty good at protecting myself from things that might upset me. But also sometimes that means protecting yourself from opportunities too. And so I've come to that point now where the pain, uh, you know, is that, is that a nice name quote, you know, it's like at some point it's more painful to remain in the bud than it is to bloom. She says it's so much better than me. Maybe I'll link that down below, the actual quote. So I've got to this point where I'm starting to make videos and hopefully people will enjoy them and find them useful because that is why I'm making them. Uh, the whole kind of ego thing held me back for a while too because I didn't want to be just like adding to the noise of YouTube but what I do want is to be part of this community and to connect with people and to learn from other people and hopefully then the people can also learn from me and like that's it isn't it that's where I start to, to sound to me to my inner critic going mm -hmm. I, it sounds to me arrogant to say that, you know, like, who is going to learn from me? But I've been doing this a long time now, and uh, not as long as some people. I'm I'm only 39 years old, but that is a long time of practicing. You know, I've got a good... I, I knew very young that I was a witch. Uh, you know, I knew I was different from how sometimes little girls are supposed to be and it was something that became sort of more obvious to me as I got older, especially especially when I first, when I had Menarch, when I first started my periods, menstruating, um, then I was really quite fully called to this path. And that's probably when I started kind of like practicing in some way, although it, this, that was a long time ago before the internet. Well, no, we had internet, not then, but if, a couple of years later we start, we had the internet, but it was like, you know, that one where you like have to dial up and it was like, mm, 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 mm. and every time you wanted to find a new page, you had to um, just wait for five minutes sometimes, you know, before that page would actually appear. And I did look, that was a couple of years later, I think that was like when I was about 17, 18, I looked on the internet as it was then for guidance. Um, I'd read quite a few of the books, which was cool, but I, I kind of wanted to meet somebody in real life who was walking this path. But the only things I could find really were, um, it was mainly American sites. I think that was because I think it was mainly only AOL at that point that was um, offering people to be able to get onto the internet. And it was mostly people in America who were putting out content. I found a couple of covens in America, but that really then did not speak to me at all. So as I read more, I realized that the path that was calling me in which I, I feel very much that I have walked in many lifetimes before this too is one of a solitary practitioner 
and it's, it's such a good time right now to be a witch because there is so much awesome information out there and so many really good people um, sh showing the way and sharing a lot more stuff than you would have been able to get access to back then. I'm not, <laughs> I'm making myself sound really old. I'm not really old. <laughs> I'm not even 40 till June next year. So, um, but things have changed an awful lot in just in that small space of time. So, yeah, that's a kind of long-winded way of saying that I've always known that this was my path, but I haven't always been upfront with people about that because still now, and I think this is changing, but still now people hear the word witch and for some people they're like, yes, brilliant, you know, they, they're you, you know, my kindreds. Um, so that's great. But for lots of people still, they hear witch and they have that kind of Halloween witch image, you know, of like a, not a witch. And also people get scared and they think that you will manipulate them in some way. So that can really harm connections. So it's something that I haven't been really upfront about unless, well, not, I don't really declare it um, anywhere. Although obviously now that I've started putting videos up, it's a little bit harder to hide. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I have the last, I think I started calling myself the story witch online about three years ago now. And that felt good. It was kind of like a little cheeky nod to to everyone about who I am. But to be able to make these videos, that's going to mean that people are going to watch them. Maybe, maybe no one will watch them. But it means that uh, more people are going to know. And that felt a little bit, and not a little bit, a lot scary. But I was thinking about this a bit more and it's a good scary, you know, it's that kind of like, I, it's that feel the fear and do it because that is the thing, that's the resistance like I talked about in the other video, you know, it's like if you're feeling a lot of fear around something, sometimes that is the, it's the place you're supposed to go. So I'm hoping that that is the case with this and that is why I'm doing this. Uh, also, I think that when you come out as a witch to friends and particularly family, which probably feels even more awkward sometimes, then it is a lot like sometimes when people come out about non-heteronormative sexuality, you know, uh, even though that should just not be a thing, you know, now it's like, who whose business is it anyway who we love or how we feel about um, certain relationships. It just is, yeah, it, it's one of those things that people still feel they have to explain themselves and I'm feeling like I have to explain myself, which is why I'm making this video. And it should be that we don't have to explain ourselves. It should be that we can just be and walk our path without feeling that need to explain. And I don't know if, um, I could, obviously you guys are gonna have known people maybe who, I remember one friend who came out to me about his sexuality, that he was gay, and I was like, um, yeah. <laughs> because, you know, yeah, you know, you already, I already knew, as lots of people already knew, and I, I suspect that that is how my own coming out of the broom closet will be perceived by lots of people. They'll be like, uh, duh, you know, they, I'm visible doing a lot of the witchy things, even though I'm not calling them witchy things. So I do hold women's circles. Um, I do not so much the last couple of years since my son was born, but I was being a doula at birth. So I was going along and helping birthing women, you know, um, I do, a lot of healing work with people. And so those are things, I was kind of doing the things, but not calling them witch. And now in order to 
speak out and share and hopefully be of service and of use, I feel like it's time to name it. Yeah. So I think that is all I wanted to say right now on this subject. How I'm interested to know how you guys felt about it, whether you are out of the broom closet, or if you're still in the broom closet, and um, how your own perceptions of that, you know, like why, if you're afraid to tell people, why are you afraid? Is there a particular person or persons that you're afraid to tell? Or if you are out, um, how did that go for you? Um, and how has it changed your practice? Like I think for me, it won't change it, my day to day very much because I've already been doing the witchy things. <laughs> Uh, but it it might change maybe it'll change I think it might change how I perceive myself a bit and how other people perceive me who maybe don't know me as well perhaps so yeah I'm interested in, in your experiences too um, so let me know in the comments if that's um, something that you've had experience of or if it's something you've been thinking about too. Warmest blessings. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Mm, da, 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 da.